Hello and welcome to DEX, a free design weekly exercise from the Graphic Design School. My name is Jackie and I'm going to show you how to do a kaleidoscope in Photoshop using photographs. So to start with, we'll open a Photoshop page um, and I'm going to use two images. One's a landscape and the other one just has a bit of extra texture but you can have a play with any photographs you have first thing to do is to rasterize the layers so that we can manipulate those layers so we'll rasterize both of these then we'll concentrate on this layer which is the butterfly if you do command T grabs hold of that image for you I just really want to stretch it out, could even go a bit bigger, press return and then we'll do the same with this landscape image, let's control T and then make it larger to fit page and this is how simple it can be so if you go into your layers panel here and you can choose to have whichever image you like on top and that's also something you can play with but if you press here normal and then just go through and have just a little bit of a play and see what you like the look of just going down the list here that looks like it has some beautiful colors that's called pin light um, difference that's brought up some beautiful purples and greens throughout um, I'm going to choose to go with difference then we can go up to this right hand corner and we'll flatten that image and unlock this black back layer now to make even more texture if you do command j that copies that layer command t grabs onto that second layer and then we'll just flip it around to the side sorry Grab the corner, it will go up neatly, and then press return. Then have another play again. So darken, that gives great texture there. Just going through, the darker colour looks great. We'll lighten. This is where you use your creative licence. Linear dodge looks lovely. And I am going to go with difference again, but I'm just going to make it a bit lighter. So if we go to the adjustments layer and this brightness, and that's looking really nice. And you can also brighten this layer as well. Adjustment, brighten, bring some great colour in there. Um, go back to your layers. So that has quite a lot of texture but have as much fun with it as you like. We could do flatten image one more time, unlock that back layer and command J repeats it. Command T and maybe this time we'll just flip it the whole way around holding onto the shift button and press enter um, and then we'll go through oh got all of those colors there yeah that looks amazing um, maybe maybe I might go with light in here can have even more fun if you go through to 
adjustments. Might bring down a bit of the saturation or you can lighten it even more and have a little play with different colours along the hue scale. Um, which that looks great there. And there you have a kaleidoscope print. I then continued to use the adjustments layer, um, mainly the hue and saturation, just sliding the hue along and also the lightness. And I came up with two different colored patterns. I purchased a box mock-up from the creative market and just using their layers panel um, where it has it has for you where you put in your own designs so example on this page um, example on this page where I popped in my one of my designs and added a mock logo to create this first box and there we have the my packaging design I hope you really enjoy having a play and using your creative license to create a kaleidoscope you just never know where it's going to take you once you get started hope you enjoy listening thank you